I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill and realized it was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Now, wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh, yeah. I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plumber rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. You don't light up a cigar, we're fine. Ah, uh, besides, George is up there on the rocks with that rifle of his. Nothing gets past him. <laughs> My late father pointed out to me more than once. God made men. Samuel Colt made him equal. Plumber wants that asshole dead. And me. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches.
There were thieves, killers, ah! robbing travelers, oh, yeah. and hijacking gold shipments. Ah. Maybe I just put this down. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. Veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. <laughs> Dangerous, desperate individuals. <laughs> Plummer had a lot of men on his page. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter, which I had no idea how to breach. <coughs> I can't hear you! I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. You know who we are. They must have thought I was tough. <laughs> or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. <laughs> one stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Did I have any second thoughts about what I was doing? No. I do not deserve to die like this! I thought I was some kind of hero. You ain't beefing me. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine. But once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. 
so my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of them. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. to me. Reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what he's shooting at. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dead blasted tomb. <laughs> It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Instead, I spotted a ladder <laughs> way into the mine from the opposite side. <laughs> it was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, 
No man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith. I was determined not to give up, however. Uh, the dark... But really... <laughs> As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. You ain't leaving this. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. I wanted to use the element of surprise. Plus, I figured I could use the exercise. I was warmed up already, so what the hell? a mad dog killer, and the people of Nevada City deserve better. <laughs> right, well, he was the sheriff of both places one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. Taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. See right away this part of the 
Get in. I'm going all medieval on your ass. Who said you could throw dynamite? This cocksucker is smarter than he looks. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Suck it, smarter than he looks! 
That's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter. Все, ребят, давайте на этом закончим и продолжим следующий следующих видео. Всем спасибо, всем пока.